What's going on guys, Flickfly here, and today we have episode 5 of my third season of Crew Mode with York City, and in today's episode we have a couple of Leaf games and a couple of Cup games, so hopefully you guys will go ahead and enjoy the gameplay footage, but our first match today will be against Wolverhampton Wanderers, or the Wolves, and here you can see, I thought I was playing against Doombia for a second, and I just thought they might have signed him in the transfer transfer window, but I think he's a left back, so hopefully that wasn't the Doombia, or he was really far back on defense, but... He didn't seem to make too much of a difference in the game, but Isacek seemed to want to make a difference for us. He tried to go far post there, but that one's just wide, but did a good job to get a shot off and pull, bully off the defender, which seems to really be his strength so far this season. Last episode, he managed to bully off the defenders, and so far he's done really well for us this season. But Mokdar, another player that's done so well for us, gets his might have been second goal for us this season. That was a really nice one from outside the box, just putting it into the far net and past the keeper. But Wolverhampton was looking to tie things up, and this time they're going to hit the post, so we're going to try to scramble away and clear that one out. But unfortunately, a poor clearance there, and they're going to try to make us pay for the poor clearance. They will send in a cross to the far post, and a man will be waiting there with his head, and they get the 20th minute goal there through Griffiths to tie things up. And at that point, I was a little bit hesitant of whether I should be going a little bit more attacking, play some good defense, because Wolverhampton is a good attacking squad. And you can see there, they're really just going for the crosses, and they tried to find the man in the center, but Doberburn's going to clean things up for us, keep the game at 1-1. And that will actually be the score going into halftime. A 1-1 draw so far. Two really equal squads going against each other. Mokdar with a beautiful goal early on, and Wolverhampton gets the header goal. And at this point, I bring in Vadillo and Sinclair. Two typical substitutions, because Sinclair should be getting some play time, as well as Vadillo. They're both great players. And here's going to be De Silva finding Sinclair in the center, trying to get a goal for himself. But he kind of did a little bit of a missed shot there, trying to put some power behind the ball. But unfortunately, the ball was not there to meet his foot. But he makes a good pass there into Vadillo, who's trying to get a goal, our other substitute. But it's going to be De Silva, who actually chips it right over the keeper, kind of winning a battle of wits there. They thought the keeper was going to die that way, so he just kind of chipped it right over him to give us the 2-1 to lead. And we continue things going here. It's going to be Jensen showing some of his pace and some of his strength here. Through on goal, trying to get a shot on the far post, but a good job by their keeper to get that one out for a corner kick. And we actually pull off the victory there, guys. A 2-1 victory against Wolverhampton. I was pretty happy with that. And two really nice goals for us. De Silva with a really calm finish. And Vadio, uh, it was Mukhtar early on who gave us the nice goal. And there you can see we definitely deserve the win. We definitely had the shots advantage as well as the possession advantage. And here we come across transfer deadline day, but no real major moves for us. So I just didn't really show any of that because we, we didn't even get any transfer emails or any of that stuff. But here we get a little bit of a scouting report from our England scout. And this player looks to be, looks to be a pretty decent player, 76 to 82. That's right about where I want to be finding players because we will get some profit by selling him off. So really no harm in signing him when he does have the ability to get signed. And in a second, we're going to get our other scout coming in from the Ivory Coast. And plenty of players there. That first one looked to be really promising, 65 to 87. Hopefully it's somewhere toward the higher up, the toward the 87 mark. And I do reject some of them because they didn't look to shape up too much for the squad. And we will just continue with a little bit of simulation going into the first cup match of the episode. And this one's going to be in the Capital One Cup. And we'll be seeing our opponent here in the second. I think it's Cardiff City. And we'll be just making sure here after I go ahead and switch our sides. We are the away team going to this match. And we are playing against Cardiff City. We go with the Blue Kits. They will go with the Red. And we put out a good starting 11. Typical starting 11. Jensen up front. De Silva right behind him. But it's going to be Carter City who gets their first opportunity in the game. They find the man inside the box. He's going to try to go far post by Daryl Byrne with a great save. Keeping that uh, the clean sheet going for himself. And we're going to find Jensen in the center. And Jensen trying to get a shot on goal. Does a bit of a fake shot. That one will hit the post. But it's going to be Isacek who chips the keeper there to give us the 1-0 lead in the 21st minute. So a nice goal for him. Pretty similar to De Silva's goal in the last match. But uh, Cardiff was actually looking to come back here. They steal the ball from our defender. And he's going to try to cut inside, but Daryl Byrne covering his near post and a nice job by him. But they will win a corner off that one, and they're going to send the corner right into the center, looking for the man with the header. And that one's going to hit the top of the crossbar, tips off Byrne, and we're going to clear that one out. So a little bit lucky to keep the game at 1-0 for us, but regardless of that, we keep the game at 1-0 and have the lead going into halftime, which is perfect for us. We're looking to make as much of a cup run as we can, and we make the same substitution as we did in the last match. Vadia and Sinclair brought in for our two other replacements. And we're just gonna continue things going. Cardiff City will get a opportunity here late in the game. 
And this was toward the end of the game, but nice bit of defending here. And we're just going to pass it back to Burn, who's just going to find the man on the outside. And we really just wrap things up from there. And we pull off the 1-0 victory in the Capital One Cup. So we're going to be moving on to the next round, which is nice to see. We don't want to be eliminated early. And you can see Daryl Burn actually gets the man of the match rating. And well-deserved, because he did make some crucial saves. And we didn't really have the possession advantage, but the shots advantage was pretty even. So deservedly, I think we, we got the win. And we just get a nice little long break between matches here. So that's perfect to see. So we can rest up on fitness and have a nice starting 11 against Hull City, which will be our next match. And we go with the blue kits. They're going to go with the yellow kits. And like I said, we do have a nice starting 11 for this match because we had plenty of time to rest. So just the same starting 11 that we have in usual matches. And we'll be checking out the league table after getting that last win in the league table. And we are sitting at 13th spot, so a little bit of improvement in the league table, which is nice to see. Hopefully we can continue to improve and maybe in that top six position, but things do not start off very well for us. We can see the early header goal in the fifth minute through Mailer, and whole city does get the 1-0 lead there. But Dos Santos is going to find De Silva there in the center, who's going to find Jensen, and Jensen just barely misses that one. He manages to turn the defender, and he seems to be improving on that move quite a bit, which is... Nice to see because that's one of my favorite moves to do with the striker. But it's going to be our man covering the post who saves the goal there. And we keep the game at 1-0. So not too bad of a deficit going into halftime. Definitely a manageable deficit because we were attacking pretty well. And it's going to be Jensen yet again showing some fake shots and showing some of his acceleration. And a perfect finish there across the keeper with a lot of shot power there in the 52nd minute to tie things up for us. So Jensen, that might have been his first goal this season for us. And it was a nice goal to say the least. But it's going to be Mokhtar trying to get a similar goal to last episode. But that will be saved by the keeper. Hits the post and goes out of play. It's a little bit of an odd turn of events there. The whole city trying to capitalize on the counterattack. And they will manage to do so. Getting it by Daryl Brown across him in the 76th minute. So it was really all out attack for us at this point. We had to go ahead and get the tying goal. So we brought in some pace through some substitutions. Kelly Vadio and Sinclair brought in. And it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be Jensen who actually gets the shots on goal here. He's going to do another fake shot, but it's going to follow the Mukhtar who just cleans things up so nicely there. A really calm finish to tie things up in the 82nd minute so we can pull the draw. So a nice bit of performance there, not giving up on the game, and we pull the draw in this match. So a pretty nice turn of events for us, a couple nice results, and a pretty nice episode to say the least, guys. Hope you enjoyed it so far, and if you did, be sure to leave a like rating, and I'll talk to you guys later. If you want to help support my channel, be sure to leave a like rating on this video and subscribe to see future content. Also, you can click on the video on your left to be taken to the previous episode of my career mode and click on the video on your right to be taken to another separate video.